This is Dan from The Verge, and this is the new HTC U11. This is HTC's true flagship phone for 2017. Uh, it's the second phone they've released this year. We saw the U Ultra come out earlier this year, but that one was a little bit less mainstream. This is, rest assured, the full flagship phone experience from HTC. Uh, it's got a 5.5 inch display. It's quad HD resolution, super LCD, very similar to HTC devices in the past. It's powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 processor. It's got four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, 3000 milliamp hour battery. Overall, the hardware is actually really, really nice, really well put together. This is uh, one of the colors that they're, they're calling a silver. There's also a blue, sapphire blue that's really vibrant and as well as a nice deep black. So the colors are really popping. The phone really does look great. Uh, one thing that you may have noticed is that there's no headphone jack here. It just has a USB-C port. HTC has a few reasons for this. One of them is that it can provide a better in-box headphone experience. So in the box with the HTC U11 is a set of noise canceling headphones that are powered by USB-C. So uh, that's a new thing and uh, it allows it to add a louder speaker. A couple other things that it couldn't do if it had a regular headphone jack on there. Now what's unique and different here are these sides. And you can't actually see it because the sides look exactly the same as any other phone. But what HTC has added is uh, this squeeze function. They're actually pressure sensitive. So I can press them and launch the camera. I can press them again and take a photo, which is gonna take a selfie here. Or I can long press them and turn the flashlight on, or long press them again, and turn the flashlight off. You can customize all these things. So you can launch a different app if you want, you can launch a voice assistant. Kind of a different experience than we've seen before. Makes it a little bit easier to use the phone in one hand, especially when you have a bigger screen. The other thing that there's new for this uh, HTC U11 is a partnership with Amazon. HTC is adding Alexa services to the phone so that you can say Alexa to the phone and it will do various things that you'd expect an Echo to do, like you can check the weather and play music, turn lights on and off. Uh, and it will do that even when the screen is off. You don't have to open an app or do anything special to launch the Alexa services. It also has Google Assistant, which you can wake up with OK Google. It has HTC Sense Companion, which does things like remind you to charge your battery uh, or tells you about nearby restaurants and stuff. So it has a, a bunch of different virtual assistants on here and you can kind of pick and choose which one you want to use. For software, it's running Android 7.1.1 Nougat. It's got HTC Sense software on top, which pretty much looks like stock Android at this point. Pretty simple and clean interface and pretty easy to navigate. Now the phone is really, really nice. I think it's put together really well. It's built really well. Obviously HTC kind of has its, its unique design characteristics. The refinements over the HTC U Ultra are definitely appreciated. The camera bump is a lot less than it was before. Uh, it's easier to hold. It's just kind of refined overall. HTC is going to be releasing this real soon. They're announcing it here in an event in Taiwan right now. They say it's going to be on sale really soon. It's going to be priced around the same as other flagship phones in this price range. So that's the HTC U11. For more on this phone and plenty of other things, be sure to check out TheVerge.com and subscribe to YouTube.com slash TheVerge. You ready? Okay. That's why I hate these chairs, man. You guys put me in these like little squatters. Okay.